so many people used to attend together and when this when when the uh, you know the guy who used to come on the stage to actually invite the speaker when he used to say i am not the speaker so there used to be a loud sound oh <laughs> people used to just say it for that sound there is no reason why people say it because everybody know you are not the speaker okay i am actually here to set some ground rules and invite the speaker of course why ground rules because everything we do it is done in a right way when we have certain rules for that right like example a lot of people ride bikes you wear helmets the helmets i'm i'm a i'm a rock star this <laughs> again i don't want to say anything about it but let's follow the rules you drive a car you wear seat belts for a reason so we also have in our business there are certain ground rules which we follow sop we follow so before we start training there are certain things we do so we can how to empty cup please do that i'll be i'll be guiding you of course second people first of all start with emptying the cup take a deep breath first of all calm down take a breath a deep breath in and exhale do it a couple of times close your eyes take a cup start rem removing whatever is going on in your mind no matter how good is that how bad is that you know with downlines not listening to you having you know not so good conversations with your upline things are not working out i have started this business been long i expected i'll make a check this week i didn't make a check this week my team is not listening to me all oh, just take it out because it's not necessary for next 1.5 hours we'll we'll think about it again probably later for now let's remove everything out and once you are done when once you feel your cup is full just pour everything to the mother earth and pray i want my 1.5 hours to be productive i don't want anything which is bothering me or taking space in my head because i'm going to attend a training okay guys understand the more you judge others the more you judge yourself by seeing bad in others we train a mind to find bad in everything and this increases the stress <laughs> so a lot of you if you are stressed understand there might be a reason okay and why to judge we are here to learn right we have spent money we are spending time for this training then why to judge just sit here and understand whoever is coming on screen to share is more successful than us so let's accept it and and understand okay now keep your videos on guys focus we also know what happens when the video is off when nobody is watching so let's one point five i i know your mind might be telling you ha theek and i'm sitting here uh, i'm i'm going to be focused on this training but we know it that when we are on video our focus is different so let's focus just 1.5 hours not more than that okay keeps your phone keep your phone aside understand it's a big distraction now if you are using phone to attend this training please don't keep that aside keep the video on but for one point five just just keep it aside and you know on silent in fact nothing serious is going to happen one point five five hours are okay okay and notebook and a pen keep that with you today okay do you want me to give you 30 seconds so that you can just grab a pen and copy because it's important guys presenter might say anything you know that one second can you know make or break the deal here so just get your pen and a notebook and then we start okay now let me tell you a bit about who is going to take the training who is going to come and share the experience with her with us okay guys first of all she is all heart she is somebody who speaks from heart she is somebody who touches hearts okay Her smile is infectious. Let me tell you one thing. No matter how good, how how is your mood right now, the moment you see her on the screen, you will see a lot of energy spreading out and entering your home. 
<laughs> that's my promise to you the moment she smiles you will see a difference in your energy in your aura i promise you about that okay she is from india but settled in dubai for almost 30 plus years around 30 years i would say 20 years of media experience so guys we are you are going to listen we are going to listening to somebody who has come here with a rich corporate experience okay been in radio been in theater been in multiple businesses been a part of three radio channels okay radio 4 in uae channel 7 to 9 radio gaga right now she was doing the morning show with radio 4 from 2001 to 2011 guys just imagine 10 years morning show who do you think is asked to do a morning show who can actually give people that energy what they need in the morning right so just imagine what's going to happen to us okay then from a radio jock to program director journey she became the program director of that channel which is the senior most position of that channel then she she, she says that you know there's was no more to achieve there <laughs> what would i do there okay recently somebody was playing the av was playing this uh, song oh ho 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 so there, there were vocals she has her voice into that song as well okay she has sung with kk and just name the celebrity she has met them or interviewed them them hosted or mc lot of corporate events and big bollywood musical events like asha bosle sp bala subramaniam uh, neeraj sridhar etc she has done a tv show also on z tv okay parvas is the name of that show a great singer voice over artist and an interior designer she doesn't do it anymore but she has the neck of it okay she left nothing actually she tried everything possible and when she was full time in the media there was a time in dubai guys when people used to come take her autograph on currency notes okay from having a big holding on dubai sharjah highway to interviewing all those big celebrities she let me tell you she has seen the stardom of of that celebrity she has seen that time where you know people are going crazy to see her to meet her to take autographs and all that but she decided to you know still after all that stardom she decided to you know live her life or, or give her life to the business because she she understands that she wants to live a life of choices not compromise because somewhere she felt that it was she was not living her full okay her full life so before this business she tried two businesses as well but didn't click but when she met none other than vp sachin gupta for the plan guys come on she decided instantly and started working on this project and i'm grateful <laughs> she took that decision that day otherwise how would i be here <laughs> okay full timer in the business more than 10 years of experience in the project having multiple ma markets in multiple countries like india india mein jaipur uae pakistan kuwait australia okay she she has she has all over she has markets all over all right still she is very humble so down to earth everyone feels a warmth you sitting there in your house on zoom you will feel the warmth you will feel the care you will feel the intention i would say you'll feel the intention that how she uh, wants to help everybody in her team or even cross lines doesn't matter okay she's a mother of two boys like my mother okay and i've seen her living with the kids like friends and i learn a lot from her okay she's she thinks actually an example of what we call enjoying the process she enjoys every single moment in whatever she does business radio anything she just enjoys the process okay and you'll feel that in the training if i talk about my relationship with her she was my reason to start this business okay i met her for the first time when she became a sapphire star fortunately i was in that party so when my referral called me that we are having a get together why don't you come so it, she was actually prospecting so i said yeah why not and when i entered i saw so many beautiful people her amazing house so her hall that uh, you know living dining as actually living room was it was like a club okay i never saw a house uh, a you know place like that before and uh, the way she has made that she's she's fond of uh, interior design as i said so i saw her in that party and such beautiful people were there i saw so much of positivity i saw everybody's talking sense no criticism nobody's talking hate i was like i want to be around these people and she was the one she was the reason behind everybody being together in that room so i said you know what i want to be with her i don't know how can i do that i asked my referent then you know how can i do that and 
I decided to actually she decided, she chose me of course of course we can't choose so I decided to work with her and since then life has changed not only she taught me business but she taught me life she personally has been through thick and thins but she still stands tall she's that person I never saw on break she's always working she's always you know on the go okay she taught me how to build relationship she taught me how to stay in a right energy because your team sees that you, it affects your team somewhere it affects your family somewhere she taught me how to be happy naturally okay actually she didn't tell me she she showed me as i said she's a she's an example of lead you know how how do you lead your life she shows it she doesn't tell it okay she taught me how to trust people i tell you a very a small thing but which made a big impact on my life you know when we used to do physical associations in Dubai, we used to do right under her home. She was living on Sheikh Zayed Road. So there was a nice Tim Hortons there. So I always saw people in her house, eating, sitting, working, chilling, calling, doing plans and everything. And whenever I entered, it was never locked. Okay, the, the house was, the door was always open. After some time when I, when I started having that bond with her, I asked her, ma'am, why don't, why don't you close the door? She said, I don't like it. I, I want my house to be open for my team always. And it was not something she was just saying. I worked with her for almost four years in Dubai. It was always open. And when she was out of UAE, she used to give me the keys that stay in that house because she has a small pup. Now she has two actually uh, dogs. She, has, she had a small puppy. His name is Gabbar. Very small. <laughs> but Gabbar. I mean, so I used to stay in her house and uh, because there was Gabbar, I had to feed that baby. So that is the kind of trust I learned from her. Okay. She loves her team and affects everyone with a beautiful energy in a positive way, of course. One thing I could not understand is, uh, is her, you know, her PR ke chate. I don't know how to call PR ke chate. It's, it's like the slap of love, like, like, like the kiss of love. <laughs> Actually, you will see her helping you understand certain things in a way where you feel like, yeah, am I, she's trying to help me understand something or she's slapping me. <laughs> I hope, I wish, I request you, Charumam, to do that today <laughs> because it goes deep inside you somewhere and tickles the reason to do your business. This is what I feel. So guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I can talk about her for the rest of the day and uh, still i'll have a lot of content to talk about her. <laughs> okay so as chief says rise you can't do it physically mentally at least please help me welcome my upline my mentor and mentor to many others in this world a friend uh, a guide somebody who is helping me grow not only in the business but in the life charu shonek Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, I don't, I don't want to see myself in the spotlight. I'm going to remove spotlight. You guys can keep the spotlight. <laughs> I tend to get very distracted. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jay. That was a beautiful, beautiful introduction. And uh, it was all from the heart. You are a very hard person as well. And I think you um, evoked a lot of memories inside me of how the team started growing, how we built it in Dubai, how we used to have literally like, you know, team used to have plans EJ, at Tim Hortons and then come up and say, what is it? And I'd say, dal chawal hai, bas, dal chawal hai. And then they made me cook. He didn't tell me that. I was cooking with them. And then, you know, Jai would say, I don't like chawal. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm applying to roti. Ha, ha, ha. So, sir, what will you eat? So, yeah, but we had a lot of fun building together. There was a lot of 
you know friendship at the base of everything uh, that we did and i think when people talk about relationship building it it goes both ways it goes both ways you know just as an upline tries to reach out to the person who's just signed up or tries to build a relationship so also when a person who's new and i'm talking to everybody who's signed up let's say in the last 2 to 3 months don't wait for your referrer or don't wait for somebody to tell you k relationship build karo start taking that initiative you will see growth you will start to see things moving be in that association pick up the phone and say i don't know you very well because you're my uplines 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 but can i talk to you try that you know start with that and trust me you will start to build beautiful relationships not just you know through your referrer but people who you didn't know from day one but then they'll become very very important part of your life so can i have that promise from you today that you will start to build the kind of relationships where tomorrow if you edify your upline there'll be a lot of warmth there'll be a lot of heart in what you say because you mean it and it shows okay fantastic so first of all i have to smile now the jane smile ki tareef ki to so big smile give me that smile back so that i also get that energy you know and uh, mostly i don't know if it happens with you for those who take trainings i am in the business for 10 years before that i also you know i've been on stage i have faced 10000 people but trust me the day i have to take a training there are two three things that will happen one i will not be able to sleep the entire night okay so that always happens whether it's a small training for 200 people or 20000 people it doesn't matter i just don't get sleep okay second thing what happens is i'll have a bad hair day whatever i do with the you know uh, hair dryer the, the hair just won't set second trait that will happen just before training it will always happen okay and i think the third day, third thing that happens is the stomach goes for a toss something wooji wooji do you say butterflies in the stomach i think i start having elephants in the stomach any any dreaming okay but that's also a good sign because if i come or if any speaker comes here saying i know it all i think that's that's the start of a of a downfall because honestly i can only tell you what i know and i have learned from my uplines and add a little through my experience but i feel even after 10 years my god there is so much to learn okay so people <laughs> i know people will attend about four trainings six trainings after three months they'll say ah uh, they last their uplines how many more trainings do i have to attend and in my head i'll be having pop ups beta abhi bahut saal hai <laughs> you have not even touched the surface you know there is a lot of depth here that you will keep learning keep learning keep learning so whether it is shrijita from last week or you know gorav or abhishek you've seen the recent speakers here trust me from each one of them i will carry something back and so will you so if you shut yourself to this training or if you think it's a forced thing that i have to attend there'll not be much you'll take away from it but if you come with an open energy if you come with the fact that i am seeking i'll become crime master gogo aaya hu to kuch leke jaunga you seen that film right andaaz apna apna right so there is a character that says okay david i'll explain to you david is like no i don't know <laughs> okay oh wait does zoom recognize now physical hands also let me lower my hand i don't know how it went up no it doesn't <laughs> okay i suddenly thought why is why is the my zoom and raised up okay so yeah david there was a character there is a character called shakti kapoor okay who is who's a villain also but he's a comedian also okay so in one particular film he plays that character which is like a pirate character you know he has that one patch on his eye and he comes on his little scooter and even from a place that has no money he says if i have come i'll take something okay that is what i am to kuch leke jaunga so i am saying become that crime master go go that when you come for a training you decide that today i will take something i will have takeaways i will learn something which i will apply in the business to grow so become that crime master go go okay so couple of weeks you know last few weeks uh, we heard like last uh, week speaker shrijita talk about her dreams you know small dreams to take her parents to a restaurant to buying that dream car for herself okay before that gorav shared his journey okay before that abhishek talked about commitment okay getting out of the comfort zone okay so obviously everything that you attend will teach you something that is relevant and important to do in the business 
okay but today we are going to talk about something that is leading to action okay all this is mindset that you need to have okay but taking a cue from last week session i'm going to ask you you know so after srijita's system how many of you thought oh my god you know yes i have dreams as well yes i need to pen them down you know i need to make a proper dream list how many of you got that okay sushan the amdabad team is sitting there gj okay rashika okay jay kamal david okay okay great great prabhat geeta sanjita okay how many of you actually took the time out to rewrite your dream list how many of you did that okay geeta i want you to i've uh, asked you to unmute share with me did you rewrite your dream list again after that session yes ma'am okay what what new dreams did you add can you share some with me yes okay actually you know i had uh, not been very emotional about parents you know earlier um, you know listening to shrijita actually reminded me what i have to do for my daughter uh, for my daughter and my mom now okay. so okay. i lost my in laws they were uh, you know a lot you know dependent on us and we started business then when they were bedridden and we used to have inke liye ye karna hai wo karna hai and you know time has passed by i think now it's my mom in my life and this lot that i want to do and my son recently got placed in a very good company in london yeah. and he you know talked that day ki i want to do something for nani now you don't have to worry about her but i got my dream from srijita bag no this is me who wants to do for my mom no one else so this is what i added and this is what i'm going to do brilliant more power to your dreams geeta thank you thank you yes abhijit what did you add yeah uh morning charu good morning uh so i uh, have one realization cause that i have i the dream is there but that becomes aggressive in my mind as i recently lost my dad and that was all of a sudden and uh, then i realized you know time is not there so first thing when i come and talk to my applicant is that i want to take my mother to singapore and aisa nahi hai ki wo flight mein baithe nahi hai kuch nahi hai but that i wanted to make her feel that thing right and i think uh, that becomes aggressive dream it's not like paper pe karna hai karke pehle aisa tha so mm-hmm. i think it becomes an emotional and you know it is it is going to drive me every day no matter what is the situation okay ashi what about you so i uh, actually you know uh, started working on it and i divided my dream list into four parts so that you know one is uh, what do i want to achieve in my career so i've written like in qnet whatever i want to achieve then i uh, you know distinguish it into uh, what do i personally want to achieve in the sense whatever things i want to i want to travel this place and so with money what i want to do so i actually jotted down everything in every area of my life what do i want i started searching for those pictures and i have actually put those pictures and stuck it on my wall you know like in every area of my life what specifically am i looking so that i get more deeper into uh, things so a lot of new things came up you know like um uh, like the smallest the smallest thing that i created that sapphire ka the entire uh, uh, this on me on it and and every time i look at it and i talk about it to myself also i feel that i'm getting closer to it because i remember earlier i have written dream list here and there but i even though i had it i never used to talk about it that much but now when i'm every time talking about that dream list to myself looking at it i feel like okay you know it's it's really happening now you know so a lot of things have been added with regards to travel career personal a lot of other things beautiful very nice okay rutul and vivek quickly just quickly share okay morning jaro good morning so uh, morning uh, so first of all uh, na before uh, maybe lockdown so i used to take my mother at a good five star hotel because she never visited the good place right and i used to feed the pani puri as well and some chaat as well everything at the five star hotel so maybe in taj we used to eat pani puri as well so and, and after some time it was i like i just uh, forgot to maybe uh, and, uh, celebrate the, this kind of days right so uh, again i i have so because in in last three years there are other lot of good hotels uh, uh, maybe 
we constructed in the near near to area right so i mentioned that place second is that uh, my mom is love of uh, founder of gold but uh, she never mentioned so i i have written few things that i want to purchase from dubai why because she love gold from dubai so i have i will bring them uh, i'll take them uh, to dubai and i'll just uh, buy that this yes, thank you brilliant yes vivek hi good morning ma'am uh, i joined uh, qnet in 2019 and due to some reason i gap up around one and a half year now i am back uh, full time for the business especially i added in my dream to you know add my you know uh, my father is no more so i realized that i should take care of my sisters so uh, to you know giving a opportunity because i travel so many countries so same experience i want to share with my you know siblings they should understand what is the international you know life and this is a different you know knowledge what they can learn so hmm. that is the reason i you know i am back with the fully charged and uh, i added the dream to you know give a chance to my siblings to travel the world and they great. can learn more great thank you thank you okay thank you all of you okay so one session and you decided to take it seriously without judgment just decided to apply what is being told to you something ignited and you just followed it up with an activity do you realize how much it opened up your mind more okay so from you know from from uh, the first the first you know eight basic building blocks what's the first eight basic building blocks what's the building block number 1 dream okay that's the very first one why do you think that's the first it could be 7 8 we'll do you know rest of the things let's make the list let's start prospecting showing the plan let's you know build a relationship dream baad mein dekhte why is it not the seventh or the eighth basic building block have you ever thought about it it's the first it's the very first okay so from here starts everything i always say in my welcome you know if you are in a in a football field and if there are two teams really playing well okay really putting their heart out for 90 minutes on the field but there is no goal post what will happen they'll dribble the ball they'll kick the ball a bit now they don't know what to do so what will they end up doing they'll get together they'll gossip now they have time no there is no goal post there they don't know what to do so they'll get together they'll gossip you know so and so's wife ran away you know this person is having an affair oh who shoes are you wearing what brand are you endorsing faltu nonsensical things that will not lead to growth okay so this first step of creating your dream list is actually going to build you know from your dreams to goal from your goals to business goals from your business goals to activity from where on you can start ticking undistracted if you say i don't know why i am lazy check if your dream list is made or not i don't know why i get so comfortable redo your dream list again you can't get comfortable if you're constantly refreshing and adding dreams there you keep looking at it and say bahut bahut kaam hai bhai there's a lot to do okay so if you decide that this business you know is something that you want to be committed to and start building seriously trust me you'll find 10 hours of work to do 10 hours you can keep doing stuff you can keep talking you can read you can watch videos there is so many things in terms of basics that we can keep revisiting redoing there is so many things so if you say i don't know what to do you know i have no clue i don't know why i get lazy check check whether your dream list is well done when i say well done that means you put everything that you desire into it because desires plus belief that's what leads you to achieving there is a strong desire and you believe that you can do it that is truly what is needed to make it in the business huh nothing else i can't talk well you learn how to i don't know many people you will know i don't know how to network you will learn how to but it's all starts from that dream and that dream requires commitment requires show powers requires you to sort of get out of your comfort zone and laziness and show up dress up and show up that is your commitment deciding that no matter what 6 pm to 9 pm for those who are working let's say okay 6 pm to 9 pm is my business hours now in that if my wife says let's go out for a drive janu after 9 i should be able to see that 
okay 6 pm to 9 pm if i have decided it's my business hours after a whole day of office if i have to be committed here then in those 3 hours your mother should know that she shouldn't disturb you with khana khalo your spouse should know that you're doing something important okay your children should know that okay daddy is available or mummy is available after 9 that is your commitment that is where your commitment comes in okay so when i started the business friday mornings used to be systems okay and one of the first things that i told you know then not vp he was just sachin gupta that time i told sachin and imagine i i laugh now what what kind of things we used to say okay so sir can't uh, the friday training be in the afternoon as if like everything can happen according to my whims and fancies <laughs> so you know he he gave me a very good answer he said why do you want it to be in the afternoon i said no i mean i just get one day you know i do the morning show and then there's just one day in the week where i get to chill get to like you know sleep late wake up at my own time I said okay i said okay yeah he said okay no problem you decide you decide if for 40 years of your life you know you want to continue working 5 to 6 days of the week waiting for that one day where you'll get to sleep late get up at your own time okay and then when you get up go to brunch because the entire dubai has friday brunches so go to a you know really crowded place see if you can find a hotel table have brunch then maybe you want to catch up on a movie go and sit in the front row because you won't get place because everybody has friday off okay and then go to carrefour do your shopping and wait in long queues because everybody decides to do grocery shopping so either live your life like that 97%er who are just waiting for the one day in the week to live life on their own terms or give me 52 fridays and then every day in your life will be a friday get up when you want okay don't put an alarm clock what would you prefer what would you prefer tell me one or two two right two that yes okay take my take my 52 fridays and i'll work this business because that's the one day that i'll get to do more activity that's the one day i will have to do more basics that's the one day i can actually have four plans so if i work out my weekends and do let's say if you are very lucky saturday sunday is off if you have two plans two plans you are done with your rule 3 you are hitting 16 plans a month you're done with your rule 3 even if you say i'm really busy the whole week i get really tired fine two plans saturday two sunday are we sorted for rule 3 yes we are so it all starts from your dream giving commitment okay and commitment means showing up for the system okay not just showing up coming with an empty mind you know and and taking in all the learnings and deciding to apply it and then the third basic building block what is that yeah rutul singh yeah the list the list okay so mostly this is not considered a very you know um what mind boggling uh, sunday system list is usually a slightly boring topic okay but fortunately or unfortunately this is something that is the base the raw material for the business if you end up doing the list properly trust me you will have no problem building the business your mindset will work in a way that oh i am building a global business when we when we you know tell people that we are an e-commerce project okay we are on e-commerce i always say and i'm sure you heard your upline say the world is your market the world is your market but when we start doing the business we think three four names if this person this person or this person will do with me my business will take off if they don't do it this business with me my business will flop suddenly after three four rejections you feel the world collapsing my best friend said no my first cousin who i really believed in said no and so you give up on the business do you know and this is statistics network marketing statistics more than 65% of people don't go beyond four nos they hear four people say no and they think this is not my cup of tea i am not meant for this 65% in network marketing such a big number 
So if you're here despite four no's, congratulations. You're at the 35%. Now let's talk about getting from the 35% onto the three percenters. Okay. So what kind of lists do you end up making after the welcome session? How many lists do you have to make? Two. Okay, so one is DL, dream list. One is NL, name list. Okay, dream list already I discussed with you. Some of you guys have added dreams to that. Some of you have found new dreams after last week's system. Okay, some of you realized because you lost some really loved one that you wanted to do a few things, but you didn't, you couldn't. Now you can't. So why not, you know, right now, the family that is with you do best what you can. Because you don't know how, how, you know, I don't know how long I am. I don't know how long anybody else is. You know, there is no expiry date that we come with. None of us. None of us. So each moment, each hour, each minute, when you have people around you, when you have family around you, appreciate that. And give back whatever you can. Now, through this platform, through this business, you have heard many people discuss how they were able to and what they were able to do for their families. So the first important list that you have to make is the dream list. You have to do it with all your heart. Set aside an hour. Okay, let me call it an hour of power. Set aside this one hour. Listen to some really, you know, uh, inspiring music, something that really, really inspires you. For those who have attended Beacon, you know, put Laptika. It will take you back to those sessions when, when chief makes you realize your dreams. When you close your eyes and think about everything that you want, everything that you want to do. Okay. Now, I know that many of you have attended, you know, dream sessions. Many of you have probably heard from your upline. Many of you have attended welcome. Many of you already full cup on how to write a dream list. But maybe today, one point I will share and maybe that will help you. Okay, because help helped me a lot and very recently. Okay, so I was doing this little course, okay, which is called Brain City. And in that, they had a prosperity game. Okay, any of you ever played a prosperity game? No. Okay, okay, Mega Shri seems to know about it. Okay, so there was a prosperity game. Interesting. So for 21 days, what the, the speaker or the person running the group, you know, what he would do is, give us a check from the universe. It would actually come in the form of an image. Okay. So let's say, Tanvi, you get today $100. Okay. I'm going to unmute you. You get $100. What are you going to buy? Ah, now that is where the issue is. The universe thinks that Tanvi doesn't even know how to spend $100. Why should I give her $10,000? It's like a mommy or a daddy, you know, a child, they have purchased a toy. The child is not playing with that toy. Why will mommy get another toy? You know, use that, use that. And when, when the mother or father says, okay, this person is, this child is really enjoying the toy. I'll get more and I'll give more and I'll give more. It's the same. Okay. So let me ask someone else. Suresh, you get $100. What are you going to spend it on? I'll put that initial payment for my iPhone. Okay. Now, the rule of the game. One, you can't put it on EMIs, anything. You have to buy. Okay. okay. Second, you can't give more than 10% on charity. Third, you can't invest it in stocks, bonds, shares, anything. These are three. Okay, so three, more than 10% you can't give on charity. Second, you can't do EMIs for anything. You know, credit card, I give minimum payment. No, you can't. Okay. okay. And third, what did I say? No investments, no EMI. No investments. Yeah. Okay, no investments. So if it is a property and you say, I put cash down in this much, no. It is still going to lead to EMIs. Okay. okay. So $100, how much is it in INR? Which part of uh, the world are you yeah. in? India, India Pune. Hmm. I'll take a Lee Cooper jeans. Okay, fantastic. That's it. Lee Cooper jeans. Tomorrow I'm going to give you, the universe is going to give you $200. What I'll, will take, you I'll take a Nick's boots. Fantastic. Okay. Day after tomorrow, the universe is giving you $500. What will you buy? I'll give Shanti a gold chain, my wife. 
Fantastic. The next day, fourth day, I'm, the universe is giving you $1,000. What will you buy? An iPhone now. Superb. Cash down. Yep. Okay. Sixth day, $2,000. <laughs> I, got, I got so many things to buy. Superb. Now, these things that you shared with me, three, four, are they in your dream list? Not exactly. Hmm. Not exactly the first and the second one, but yes, from the third, fourth, fifth, thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, everything is there in the name, dream list. Okay. So whatever you spoke now, you will add it in your dream list today. Sure. Okay. Now, thank you, Suresh. Now yeah. I'm going to tell each one of you. You will do this activity twenty-one days. Okay. Write down the numbers I'm telling you. First day, hundred dollars. Okay. Second day, two hundred. Third day, 500. Fourth day, 1,000. Fifth day, 2,000. Sixth day, $5,000 US dollars. Seventh day, 10,000 US dollars. You got that? Can you repeat, Suresh? Yeah. The first day, 100. Second mm. day, 200. Third mm. day, 500. Fourth mm. day, 1,000. Mm. Fifth day, 2,000. Sixth day, mm. 5,000. Seventh day, $10,000. $10,000. Okay. Now, I've given you seven days. For next 14 days, you will just keep doubling. We are in power of duplication, right? Yeah. We're in a business that talks about POD. So, we're going to do that with this also. That means on the eighth day, it will be $20,000. Ninth day, it will be $40,000. Tenth day, it will be $80,000. 11th day, it will be $160,000. And you will keep multiplying double, double, double till the 21st day. If you know right up to the 21st day, how will you spend it? Trust me, your dream list will be 100 dreams. Not 20. <laughs> not 20. Okay. So when we were doing this dream list, I actually started making... You know, I start, started making it. I don't know if I can share with you. I wish I would have actually taken this out. Let me see if I can still find it. Okay. Um, so I started writing. So one day I wrote it in a, in a like a, like a, you know, uh, a document, like a word doc. What will I do? Okay. The second day, third day, when the money started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I'm like, oh my God, this is like getting too much. So I started making a very nice presentation on Canva. How many of you have used Canva before? I, I love to have fun on Canva. I, I love to play around with it. If you don't have it, trust me, you can do this. Okay. So what I started doing? I started doing this. Can you see this? What is written, Sushant? Eighteen August universe gave Taru fifty thousand dollars one eighty three five hundred eighty to spend on these uh, it's, it's a watch okay two watches actually and a uh, handbag okay total one eighty three and something eighty yeah now it's not just a watch okay it's a Hublot watch I went into online shopping I saw Hublot stores. I saw the watch, the men watch that I would buy, you know, for my partner. It's 146,781 AED. Uh, okay. So whenever I would get money, like 50,000 US dollars, okay, 50,000 US dollars, I would convert into AED. AED would be about 183,000 dirhams. Now, since I'm mentally, because I'm here for so many years, I, I'm able to mentally spend only dirhams, not dollars. So you would probably need to convert it into INR or Australian dollars or Pakistani rupees, wherever in the world that you are. Because mentally, when you think about spending, US dollars connect me over. Unless, of course, if you are in US or if you are using US dollars. Are you getting me? Okay. So I would break it down and go as close as possible. So 183,500 dirhams is $50,000. My entire cost of a guest women bag, a Hublot men watch and a Bulgari women watch would be around 183,468, just about 35 dirhams short. Okay. 
Now, do you think this would be, I would be able to do in two minutes? No, it would require me to search, search, search. I want to buy a Hublot watch for Hans Raj. What Hublot watch? Let me search, 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 search. Some of them would be too little. I'm like, no, I still have money left. I have to spend. Okay, this is the fourth rule. Whatever money you get, you can't carry forward. I gave you $100. Tomorrow, $200 is coming. If you don't spend $100 today, don't think that tomorrow I'll have $300. No, tomorrow you'll get only $200. Your $100 is gone. You wasted it. You put it in kachra. So you have to spend. Okay. Similarly, when the, you know, you know, when the amount started getting bigger, the car started coming. Okay. The, the, this one started, the home started coming. Where, where would you buy a home? Okay. Then once, then one person started, you know, understanding, okay, we can't do down payment. So we have to do cash down. Okay. So we'll buy it later. You know that every day what you're getting. So you would put it on the 15th day, probably 15th day. I'll put it in a home for the 21st day. I'll, I'll leave this amount to buy a yacht to do a world tour, to do this, you'll put the bigger amounts there. But trust me, if you have to continue to spend, okay, here, $100,000, can you see? And I would make it in Canva. Universe gave Charu 100,000 US dollars. You will also reach this. Then the Maserati came in, okay? The Hublot ladies watch came in. And then there was, you know, there was, uh, I've, I've always fancied LV bags, but never had. Okay. So I put the LV bag. Okay. I put a Hublot ladies watch for myself as well. Now, trust me, when you start to make your dreams like this, you will be able to take a printout, look at it, have fun with it, smile, be in such good energy. This is your base. If you can't be in a high frequency, thinking about the things that you want, then trust me, the business will start to get boring, like a job. I have to do five info calls, four plans. This is, this is what will start happening. You know, I already work in a job. I get so tired. I've got a kid I've got to take care of. And then the business also, it becomes like an added stress in your life. Like Jay was saying, stressed. We all become stressed about it. But if you have this ready in front of you, which car, which property, which watch, which bag, you know what? There is so much clarity on what you want to buy. And God there is seeing, okay, she's very clear. He's very clear what he wants from life. So how many of you as children, when you were very clear, this is the bike you want. This is the cycle that you want. This is, this is what you want to buy. This is the watch that you want. How many of you actually got it from your parents? You got it. Because you kept talking about it. Mama, that cycle, no, that cycle has this and it has power. And, and your parents kept smiling and kept thinking, ah, when his birthday comes or, you know, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, whatever, when this payment of ours comes, we give him a surprise. Don't you think that father of all, everybody there, you know, up there in the sky is watching all of you? When you're putting energy into thinking these things, okay, then trust me, your dream list is going to be unending. You will keep adding. Because once I had three, four properties, because obviously it will go into millions when you go into the 21st day. Okay. After I had done with my three, four properties, I'm thinking, what else, what else, what else? And there will come a time when you feel stuck. Now what? You will probably be able to spend the 100, 200, even 1000, even $5,000. Maybe when it reaches your millions, you'll have a difficulty in spending it. So first, when you're writing this dream list, do this activity seriously. You will be surprised how your mind will expand to want things that you never thought you wanted. I didn't know. I want to buy a Hublot watch. Long back, I had gone to a showroom. Okay. AP showroom with coach Sharpun. Okay. And she had gone there to get that her watch. Actually, there was something faulty with it. So she had gone to get it repaired. And me and Hansraj were just looking at the AP watches and I'm like, how much is this? And he said, 120,000. And I thought dirhams. It was $120,000. I'm like, sorry, bloody hell. There are things out there we don't know. We don't even know. And I was telling my team the other day, you know, I just came back from a holiday, short holiday, like six days, uh, New York and Wisconsin. Okay. I did a short run. But trust me, Every time I travel, 
every time i travel there is so much there is there is you know when you when you uh, have attended trainings i am sure you all have heard this we know what we know heard this how many of you have not heard this i know what i know like i know i can sing fairly well i know that i can cook i know that i can speak english i know that i can i know hindi i know second is i know that i don't know right david example i know that i don't know give me an example i knew what i don't know okay yeah. uh, i know that i don't know how to speak hindi right yes okay what else i know that i, I knew to uh, ride a motorcycle okay you don't know how to ride a motorcycle okay good you know you are aware that you don't know i yes. know that i don't know how to speak portuguese yeah i know that i don't know how to fly a plane yes okay you got these examples right yes okay now this is only maybe 20% of the pie i know what i know and i know what i don't know the rest 80% is i don't know what i don't know i don't even know what i don't know because you've not been exposed to it you've never heard about it you've never heard somebody telling you about it you don't even know what you don't know so you know i didn't know what is immersive theater although i come from the media background i didn't know what is immersive theater immersive theater where in new york i saw that you know there is a play happening shakespeare play happening in three levels there are three levels and the enactment of each act is happening at different levels you know what you can go up and down in any level and you can get into an act immersive the actors pull you into the act and you become the actor going along with the flow so in that immersive theater i followed somebody to the grave because one setting was a graveyard and i'm like oh my god what is he going to do say then i ran out and ran into a bar where another scene was being enacted it's all a scene being enacted but sometimes you're pulled in sometimes you're asked a question sometimes you're left then i entered a room where a person was picking up a letter and reading it and as soon as i entered he looked at me he threw the letter at me and i'm supposed to read the letter and follow him what an experience i did not know what i didn't know i didn't know there was something called immersive theater right many of you don't even know there are so many experiences out there in the world so why don't you start finding out from the lifestyles of the rich and famous have you ever bothered you know you say i have i can't i can't think i've got everything i need bullshit sorry nobody has everything they need even billionaires are still up there wanting something in their lives so it's great to be happy it's great to be you know grateful to almighty that i have so many things but don't stop becoming a hungry child don't stop dreaming don't stop telling mummy mummy i want this papa i want this you don't slap your child because the you know the child is asking things you will give out of love you will keep giving you will keep giving then so the almighty is also waiting to give you but we don't know how to spend 100 dollars also tanvi then how will he give you learn how to mentally start spending every single day and i'm telling you if you do this 21 day exercise seriously just keep putting the figures and give yourself a check make a nice canva check for yourself put your name you know the bank of the world of universe grants you know shanti sri 1000 dollars 2000 dollars now faradiba now i am getting 5000 dollars faradiba is getting 5000 dollars now agya up 5000 dollars you have 24 hours to spend it start thinking what to spend start searching what to spend start looking for bags and shoes and <laughs> start you never knew just type experiences of travel what to do in new york what to do in maldives what to do? you will find out oh my god there is a show like this oh my god because you don't know what you don't know you don't even know what you don't know 
okay so from every experience i came out like omg i went to a uh, i went to an ice cream museum this time in chicago ice cream museum i didn't even know that in the world there are ice cream museums <laughs> so everything was made of ice cream there was a golf club you could you know do ice creams there was ice cream of weird flavors and in every room you could taste an ice cream amazing museum of ice cream i didn't know until just two weeks back and then i got to know there's a selfie museum in wisconsin so we went to the selfie museum and there's a paint room and there is a garden room and you can in different settings take selfies there is a museum of selfies so every time when i come back i'm like my dreams are ignited to another level so if you been in ahmedabad stayed in ahmedabad grown up in ahmedabad studied in ahmedabad working in in ahmedabad please go out there's so much to do so much to see so much to learn okay so expand your horizons i'll tell you few things find out what are tiny homes find out what are aeroplane homes people have built homes in aeroplanes okay find out do this activity watch at least one to two lifestyles of the rich and famous find out dubai millionaire lifestyles oh my god you will get ideas <gasps> one can do up their drawing room like this omg because you don't know what you don't know okay that is going to ignite your dream so much i can tell you your dream list will be never ending so promise me if you are committed to building this business seriously it all starts with your dreams that is why it is basic building block number 1 your commitment will come through when you are going to put that effort into writing this and giving yourself this check spending it every day spending it every day and tell me if any of you do it it's is it uh, similar to the secret money app santosh i don't know about the secret money app but this was called the prosperity game i loved it because i didn't know of all the things i'm writing they were never in my dream list so many of them okay now this is your first list your dream list okay you're going to play the prosperity game if you have friends if you have team do it together you know one up line maybe three four people <coughs> universe gives a check start spending start sharing what did i buy today what did i experience today where did i go today now the next thing <clears throat> the next important list is name list again if this is done right if this is done right trust me for at least one one and a half years you would be constantly adding names adding names adding names adding names because in the three you know uh, we talk about internal change we talk about external change in the external change what is the second point after the list <clears throat> what is the second point ha huh, subhadeep can you then it's uh, prospecting okay no when i'm talking about external changes there are three activities that are first is the list make 20 plus dream list make minimum 300 plus actually some of you we have made 500 plus which is even better <clears throat> name list but then the second point is what add uh three names uh, daily my three numbers five plus three actually five plus three there is a certain percentage that is given of your name list what is that it is 20% 10% 10% yeah mm -hmm. 10% so if you've got a 500 name list every month add 50 more names to it every month add 50 more names to it if you follow this to the t you can never ever ever say my name list is over and uplines please any of you here who have got a team fairly like at least 8 to 10 people if any person comes and tells you my name list is over never believe them <laughs> never believe them after 10 years my name list is not over how can yours be in 3 months 6 months 1 year name list is never over 
it's simply because you have constricted your mind and are judging half the people that you know that is why you think it's no point talking to them so rest of the people are spoken so my list is over agreed or no let's accept ah good it is never over okay so when we start writing a name list there are some <clears throat> do's and don'ts okay the first and foremost include everyone do we say in the welcome make a prospect list no we don't say make a prospect list did the applicant say make a prospect list 300 names no they said make a name list what does name list mean name number name number name number that's a name list okay now when you start to write this name list trust me 500 names is also something that will come very easily you should aim for a thousand you should aim for a thousand because as you know vp sachin says if you cannot write that many names in your name list that means either you grown up under the bed and your food was also given under the bed to you or you were somewhere like a cave man or a cave woman somewhere out there in the jungles because if you've lived in society if you're surrounded by people there is no way that thousand people you don't know because especially if i talk about you know indians pakistanis in our weddings only there are thousand people 500 name list take the name list from there ask your mummy papa how many people did you invite can i have the names and the numbers do you think they invited strangers no that thousand would also be close people huh? they would have had to omit out some people ask for that list also the people who you didn't call give us those names also so family is the best best you know especially parents are the best networkers you find that okay you are not crossing 300 sit with your mother and say mama wo chachi ka naam kya tha wo to hamari distant wali chachi thi acha what about their kids what are they doing mummy will tell you that person is in canada now and this person is here mummy is a better networker than you father will tell you few names and once you start you know doing this regularly once you start committing you have a team building you start making money your mother will do networking on your behalf also listen what is your son doing ask your son to speak to my son so jay's mother does that ask your son to speak to my son he is doing something good he is building business okay trust me when you start to write this name first is you have to write everybody's name do not omit anybody do not cancel out anybody do not judge anybody because the first thing when you start to write the now what is why is it important to do all this is because when you start to write the name your voice will speak to you okay subadeep hmm but he's doing very well in his job why will he want to build a business are you god who gave you the right to decide on his behalf who gave you the right to decide his destiny okay so i'll tell you why the judgment starts when you start making a name list because you think that you have to go with a thela with a watch and and a water filter and an air purifier and then you have to knock the door and you have to ask someone sir will you buy my water filter do we build business like this okay no i'm not downgrading degrading any other network marketing marketing company with all due respect sales is an important part of building any business but do we really do that do is that the way we build business no so what are we doing are we sharing or are we selling sharing or selling sharing sharing okay now when was how many times have you heard from your family or from your elders sharing is caring ha huh? baatne se pyar badhta hai तो इस बिजनेस के ऊपर क्यों बैठे हुए हो बात क्यों नहीं रहे हो वाई आंट यू शेयरिंग एंड केयरिंग वाई आंट यू फीलिंग दैट वे अबाउट दिस बिजनेस अबाउट दी ऑपरचुनिटी बिकॉज समवेर इन योर माइंड यूर सो ब्लॉक दैट सम पर्सन विल जज मी सम फ्रेंड विल से वॉट आर यू डूइंग दैट्स बिकॉज योर बिलीफ इन द ऑपरचुनिटी योर बिलीफ इन दी अपलाइंस योर बिलीफ इन द वे द बिजनेस कैन टेक यू ओवर द नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव इयर्स इज लैकिंग बिल्ड दैट बिलीफ the moment your belief is in place 100% you know what of what kind of answers you'll get when i say i'm building a network marketing business okay they actually say wow which company 
you'll get different responses because you believe in it so much when you start to speak and you say you know i'm building a network marketing business they say okay which company which products how do you do it that's the answers i get okay but i'm not telling you to as a new person start saying i'm building network marketing because there's a certain process that your upline will tell you how much to say and how much to leave out because that part is important that part is important your only only work is to share that i'm doing something exciting i'm looking out for collaborations if you're open to doing something if you're seeking something let's sit and talk maybe if you're lucky my senior will be able to you know talk to you and he's somebody i've learned a lot from now this is not exactly your invite script but more or less it covers it more or less it covers it you're out there sharing i am very excited i'm building something are you looking out for something not trust me one one sentence that i found very powerful okay is do you want to do something in your life that is your own like you control it rather than somebody else controlling your life or do you intend working for the next 40 years of your life under someone <laughs> what do you think the person will say i intend working next 40 years of my life under somebody else no it's an any i want to do something it gets them into the speak you know that seeker mode but before that if you haven't written the name of that person what is happening two three things one is you're judging him and so that person is not even going down in your list just as a dream list is important to be made by hand and in your handwriting in a proper way because you're giving power to that dream somebody up there is saying seeing okay this is what you want from life and you're giving that power you're putting it down on paper that law of attraction is setting off similarly in the name list when you're writing it down with your pen and paper it is giving power you are thinking of that person the person may be thinking about you two days later he himself calls and you say wow i just remembered him day before yesterday and wrote my dream you know name list and this person calls shanti sri you have experienced that it has happened so obviously there is something to writing it okay so one is you are giving it more power because you are putting that name on the name list and who knows today he may not need the business tomorrow you may not share with him day after tomorrow he may come back and say what are you doing but you've written that name at least what happens if you don't write that name congratulations seven people have the same name in their name lists another statistic okay you may think that my friend sarika is doing so well she is already making money she drives a bentley why will she need the business but guess what sarika's name has been written by six other people so you don't write you don't approach you don't send power to that somebody else will and then you see them in a network marketing training with you and you like oh sade dil pe churiyan chalaiyan that will happen because you you judged you didn't write that name so one is that second is the moment you write down it will be more organized okay so if any of you are ever telling or, or have told your upline it's all in my mind one vac you'll get <laughs> at least my team would have got <laughs> if your plans are really nice then god bless you but but seriously try telling your examiner everything is here i won't write any answers everything try telling them okay mummy is telling you you know I, i'm just telling you stuff that is finished in the kitchen just make a list nana you just tell me everything will be there you will forget 10 things and then you'll get two bags from mummy because you're relying on your memory you're thinking everything is here no everything needs to come out from here and go down on paper because whether it is a birthday party of your 5 year old daughter or whether it is your sister's marriage if you don't end up making the list you will end up forgetting to call someone and that someone may break away family ties with you for the rest of their life such a big impact it will have you can't afford to miss you think rethink ah uh, sharma and family ko bula liya isko bula liya you'll putting you'll be putting down names and then guess what another list which uncle which friend gave what present that also your mother will make a list because len dena you have to give an equal proportion <laughs> right 
how many of you are aware of that that these lists get made now if you were to say no no everything is in my mind who to call on your wedding sab dimag mein it wo it doesn't work like that even for a grocery you have to make a list otherwise the atta that's already there you'll have a double dose of atta and the chawal that got finished you never got it so something will go either duplicate or something that is not there will not be there because you didn't bother to make a list and said everything is here now for if dal chawal atta you can you know you can make a list for a million dollar business what is there in not making a list why the resistance to make a list everything is here everything is on my phone no everything needs to go down in paper that is the second reason you will have a better organized raw material and this business is all about people 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 we don't prospect monkeys and dogs otherwise majnu and gabbar would be my first sign ups <laughs> just kidding <laughs> okay it's all about people so if you are not going to write down people and you are not going to write down an all the circle of influence who you can recognize and put a name to if that person is not in your list then you are doing yourself a disservice and then them so anybody who's 18 and above who's breathing and anybody till 80 whose limbs are moving can be in that name list has to be in your name list have to be there is no ifs and buts and don'ts and maybe or he will not do or <clears throat> stop it because sharing is caring you have a box of chocolates mummy said to share okay now you will share you will share with tanvi prabhat krishna krishnanjan wow <laughs> that's a difficult name <laughs> okay subadi so, tanvi harini lajo harish i'll share harish will say no i don't want will i start doubting the chocolate chocolate mein kuch gadbad hogi harish ne mana kar diya no you guys start doubting yourself start doubting the opportunity the moment somebody says no you are sharing baba that person said no okay i have more chocolate i'll give to someone else and when three four people are enjoying chocolate that friend will say looks like very good huh can i have it now you get him back with the chocolate box no ego no problem once you think about this business instead of selling as sharing and then convert it to actually serving you will want to serve everyone you will want to tell everyone you will want to share share with everyone because it's like <clears throat> god has chosen you okay god has chosen you to share this opportunity with a lot more people i want you to frankly put a hand on your heart and ask yourself even if you've not even got even one sign up till now in the last couple of trainings in your welcome in the association do you get energy or not do you feel positive or not are you learning something or not is it putting you in the right frame of mind or not to become an achiever do people believe in you here more than you believe in yourself sometimes is that good good now you're passing the same opportunity to someone a friend of yours who will get exactly what you're getting right now you get it and then when you think about sharing it will come more easily to you you're not just anyone you know your the, the person who who is your insurance agent will also come in the person who um you know does your car service will also come in the teacher who you were pals with will also come in and trust me when you write each and every name okay so i'll tell the story and and i'm sure a lot of people will face this okay and would have already faced this maybe <clears throat> so i my favorite teacher when we did this name list first time we did an exhaustive memory jogger okay memory jogger how many of you have sat with your uplines and and worked around a name list with memory joggers okay m the bhatti has okay kamal kamal has subhadeep has abhijit has for those of you who haven't ask your upline for time and say can you help me with my name list so he'll go back the memory jogger start from your bachpan okay so it's like when when i ask you to say a b c d e f g h i j k l you can say but if i say what is after p you'll have to think a little right because there's no association you'll have to go back okay similarly 
here also in the name list when you go back and start from your childhood one thing leads to another one thing leads to another so when you <clears throat> think about making a name list think about when i was really young let's say from my childhood in my pre nursery to my fifth standard who all did i know who all was i friends with who all am i still friends with who all did my mother and their mother interact and become friends who was my teacher that time who was my best friend that time okay maybe fifth to tenth and when i wrote this list fifth to tenth okay my favorite teacher is sudha arora she used to teach us english and that time when we were in, you know in sixth and seventh you really admire those teachers who dress up well who look really nice it's not just the guys huh the girls also love them okay because they just look so good so sudha was one of those people okay and she used to teach us english and i wrote sudha arora in my in my list i don't i didn't know when i was in dubai i didn't know where she is she was in delhi i didn't even know if she's retired she's still teaching i didn't know anything but that name was in the list years later here when i was on the radio you know and i was building qnet sudha arora ma'am calls me i didn't know that was her number from a dubai number i'm like hi who's this uh, she said uh, charu we hear you on the morning show we'd like to have you as a chief guest for a for a inter whatever inter school uh, you know quiz competition or was it a quiz no poetry competition okay uh, would you like to be one of the judges i said sure ma'am uh, which school are you talking from she said so and so school i said okay ma'am what's your name she said sudha i said okay ma'am i accepted the invite she didn't tell me i didn't know i landed up as a judge in the school and to receive me there comes my old teacher right in front of my eyes i got goosebumps i'm like omg i'm like sudha ma'am it was like you know everything broke loose and of course i did prospect her and she signed up okay but it was the start it was something a name that i had put in in my name list but i didn't even know where i'll find her where she is right now you know is she retired is she in some other city country i don't know she turned up in dubai only okay so from there started another vertical of mine completely different which then led on to the you know pakistan vertical also part of it but what i'm saying is unless you don't put a name in the list you're not even giving it energy that somewhere some day somewhere how somehow that person will be in touch with you and you will be able to share this opportunity so don't put that you know don't negate any don't omit any name that you know so as part of the memory jog of from there building up to the friends now when you think about school friends you think about the ones that used to be sitting in the front very intelligent always giving answers to teachers does some name click you right now write it down write it down always ready with answers irritating buggers always used to study and come you used to hate them ye iske paas hamesha iska jawab hota hai pagal silently you would you know curse them because they would be ever ready always reading always coming prepared and then there were the back benchers the ones who used to hoot in the class the naughty ones the ones who stood outside the principal office remember those names one or two names write it down write it down if that name is coming into your head then they used to be like really chubby kids motu motu then they used to be people who used to put a lot of oil okay so when i did this memory jogger with my upline oily hair kids and i remember tarun <laughs> because in my class he used to put so much of oil my maths teacher would you know put like she used to slap peche tapli she used to give you know while walking in the aisle she would tuck and with tarun sir she would do this and she say oh wo kitna tel lagate ho <laughs> like literally every time it used to happen like that so when when that oily child you know oily hair child came this is like tarun essentially eventually tarun also signed up okay but i'm not saying that each one of these people are going to sign up i'm just saying don't forget to write names okay so i put tarun chopra okay then as we you know you know grow older the friends you still kept in touch with the friends who were despite backbenchers are really doing well in life 
they opened their businesses they took over their family businesses they were like oh my god this person like almost a failure in school and he's made it big you you put down those names if one or two names strike you put it down now okay think about the girls you had a crush on or the guys you had a crush on think about the teachers you liked okay think about the 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 friends who were then friends in fifth sixth standard who are still friends now think about the bunking batch friends you would bunk school to watch a movie for okay so there also i immediately thought about sangeeta cuz sangeeta was an amir khan fan and every time an amir khan movie would was would be there she would make me bunk school and we used to go to neelam theater in faridabad and watch the film you will have few people who would bunk school college so when you are going in this way in a very regulated way right from your childhood to your school days to your you know uh, later school years 11th and 12th to your college to your work your first job your ex boss your current boss your ex employees your current employees trust me there is no way under 1000 names will not come into your name list no way but are you really going about it in a systematic manner if somebody told you for each name that you write you will be paid 100 dollars how many of you would write at least 1000 correct for every name that you write you will be paid 100 dollars you would write 1000 right now do a little bit of calculation do a little bit of calculation you wrote 1000 names okay let's say out of these let's give a 80 20 ratio <clears throat> 80 20 ratio okay so let's say out of these 200 people actually came for the plan let's put another ratio out of this 200 shown the plan to let's put a 80 20 ratio again how many of them signed up 40 80 20 ratio are you getting my calculation 40 okay do a quick calculation with 20 on your left and 20 on your right how much money do you make put a 5 uv sign up chalo minimum let's say 7 maybe not suresh can you do a quick, quick calculation yeah so hmm. 100 uv is on the left and 100 uv is on the right okay so how many it, checks so it makes uh, 33 checks okay which is how much which is if, even if i take it with 15000 rupees no why 15 now it's 17 18000 ah so i'll quickly do it hmm 17500 into 33 checks hmm which makes it indian rupees 577500 okay now do the retail commission for 20 people or 40 people 20 on your left 20 on your right So forty into I'll take it twenty eight thousand minimum. Okay, four hundred dollars for a QVI silver. Yeah. Okay. Into eighty, this is thirty two thousand into forty. Twelve lakh eighty thousand. Okay. Total how much? So seventeen, close to eighteen lakhs. Eighteen lakhs. How much in dollars? Eighteen lakhs. Divided by if I make it eighty twenty two thousand five hundred dollars twenty two thousand five hundred dollars huh how much twenty two thousand five hundred dollars how many names did you write for that one thousand only so divide twenty two thousand five hundred by one thousand twenty two dollars huh twenty two thousand five hundred divided by one thousand straight away twenty two dollars per Okay, so now twenty-two dollars per person. Okay, shut up, chodo. Hundred dollars per person. Twenty-two dollars you're getting per person. Will you write? Yes. You know what? In this calculation, we have actually put only forty signups of yours only. We've not even exactly. we've not even seen out of those forty people how many name lists are going to come up, how many plans are going to start happening, how much money is going to come from there. Right now, I haven't even calculated that. right now through your personal activity 22 dollars okay 
But what will really happen out of those 40 names is you'll get an exhaust. What if all these 40 people decide to write 1000 people name list? My, my, my. Huh? All 1000 name lists for these 40 people. You have 40,000 people in your network now to show plans to, to talk to, to prospect, to get on the table. 40,000 people from here. So if you say your name list is exhausted, either you are not really, your network antenna, network antenna is not on or you're grossly judging, okay? And not putting all the people on your name list. Or third, you've actually stopped networking. You joined QNET as a networker, okay? And then you ask a friend, you know, what do you do? Oh, I'm a principal, I'm a teacher. So when you ask a teacher, what do you do? What will he say? I teach. I teach. Yeah. Do you teach like once a week? He laugh at you, Baba, I teach every day. I teach, right? So you ask a doctor, a surgeon, what do you do? I see patients. Hmm? I see patients. I see patients. Okay. I, if I'm a surgeon, I do operations. Yes. So do you do operations once a month? No. no. That's my profession. I do it every day. And so what are you guys? Networker. Why the hell are you networking once in three months? Every day. You should be networking every day. Is it difficult to network? Tell me if somebody has difficulty in networking no. or building connections. If you do ask for ideas, because I'll tell you, I network every single day. There is not a single day that I don't, I, I can't add a name to my name list. Every day you can do it. Walk into a mall, start talking to a person who's selling. Check with them how, how long have they been on that job. They will give you their card in like two minutes if you're if you're prospecting the right way. If you are wanting to add that name, if you decide now, every day I'm going to be adding one name, I don't care, even if it is one name. Your list can never exhaust. So yesterday I went, went to this really nice place. Um, in, in Russell Kema, okay, it's called uh, BM Resort. Okay. They had like a, it was, it's so hot in Dubai still, but they had like a festivity going on and fire eaters and there was dance happening. And I went with the family who was a small kid. It's, it's, he's my nephew. He's four years. So I have small, one big guitar and one small guitar in my studio. So he picked up that small guitar. It's a ukulele actually, not a guitar. Okay. And he told me, you know, Bua, can I have the guitar? I said, okay, you can keep the Qatar. <laughs> so the guitar with the Qatar. <laughs> now that Qatar he had with him all throughout that gathering. Okay. Through him, I prospected so many people. They were like, oh, it's so cute. Do you know how to play? I said, no, my nephew doesn't know how to play. Oh, wow. But uh, do you know how to play the ukulele? No, no, I don't really. But I'm on the radio right now. And I'm, I'm also building my business. Oh, brilliant. Oh, somewhere someone, somebody called me. You know what this is? This is a ukulele. And we started talking. Three, four people together. Okay. Another instance, I went to that resort, you know why? Because I'm a part of a WhatsApp group that has golden retriever dogs. I haven't personally met anybody. Okay. So day before yesterday, because they are all now in Dubai. Okay. They are hobnobbing there. I'm in Russell Kema. Here is, you know, there is a lot of things to be done here. And I love the space and the, like, you know, it's like country living. Okay. So it's like country living. I'm living here. I spoke, I just put a message. Hey, anybody coming to Russell Kema over the weekend with the dogs so that my dog can have a play date? Of course, I want Majnu to have a play date, but Majnu and Gabbar are also company to each other. But why do you think I'm doing that? I'm networking. One person answered, hey, we are coming down with family to BM Resort. I made it in the evening to BM Resort only to meet her. I said, either we'll meet there or you come to the dog park. Dog park, kutte khel rahe, but hum to baat karenge na. So don't miss any opportunity to compliment someone. You know, you're really, really looking nice. Where did you get this bag from? Nice shoes. Do you think somebody will say, hmm, why are you talking to me? Nobody. Trust me, nobody will say that. Okay, women have a slight advantage. We do. Let's accept. <laughs> okay, guys, when they start talking to unknown girls, maybe a little... Uh, women will be a little wary, but you should know how to do it. If you do it with the right intent, 
if you pay a nice compliment if you're with your wife and you're talking to someone nobody minds it people want to talk bhare hoye hote hain log they want to talk they're looking for an opportunity to talk you we just put on a facade of hmm, don't talk to me no everybody is itching to talk have a good conversation you know <clears throat> have a coffee so what groups can you get into do you have school groups check your school group today have you written down each and every name on that school group in your name list chances are you haven't and then you say your name list is over you busy sending forwards there okay check your college group check your ex you know whatever office you used to work in probably you're still part of that group okay find facebook groups okay you're in pune find out entrepreneurs in pune 99% there'll be a group on facebook entrepreneurs entrepreneurs in pune join that group you're an also an entrepreneur what is the best part about prospecting entrepreneurs they already have an open mindset they're not close to listening to business ideas in all probability you will secure a meeting or at least have a good conversation or maybe build a friendship that eventually will you know become into a collaboration you never know but if you are not even making the effort of saying hey i am a networker but networking is happening once in 3 months how will the name list ever increase find out groups find out you know there is a i i forget the name but basically common interests they meet once a week there are groups like that all over the world all over the world you play chess you can find a facebook group in your city who plays chess 100% okay you like to dine out you like to do yoga find a group that common interests that share common interests with you trust me you'll have more to talk than just prospecting for business otherwise you'll go with that one sided agenda exactly gym right abhijit is a lord into gyming what a brilliant way to keep adding names you think the same people come to the gym no and if the same people are coming at the same time you change your time you keep changing your time so that you get exposed to different people that is when your network and network antenna is on and you're constantly adding names if you're not doing that then you're not really committing yourself to becoming a networker so guys the name list and the dream list are the two most important raw material for you to have the right mindset and to have the right action to start working to achieve that dream it's all it's both very interconnected if you're not giving it the right weightage if you're not putting down your dreams then you know vp sachin once said if you can't even make the effort to write down what do you want in life do you think you'll you'll actually make the effort to work towards it very unlikely i'm too lazy to write my dreams do you think i'll be then having the strength or having the energy to fulfill my dreams not really and then if i don't have the names and i'm all going from my phone book random to the facebook to constantly somebody is on my mind then somewhere somehow you will start to get this feeling that okay i don't have enough people okay three people who are dependent on said no and you will start to forget why you came into the business but think about it when you are actually opening a new shop when you are doing a you know ribbon cutting of your new restaurant don't you just talk to everyone everyone your neighbors who you never you know knew before ring a bell and say we opened a sweet shop <clears throat> next time if there, if there is ever some something you know remember us we are shameless when it comes to promoting other businesses but here all the sharam haya comes i can't talk i don't know if he'll say yes i don't know if he's looking <clears throat> talk now you'll get to know so if you're opening a sweet shop kamal okay will you judge that next family that uncle has diabetes so i will not tell him about my business no i will not judge him not judge no wow there's some dance music happening in your background <laughs> okay so you'll not judge you'll still give it because there'll be other people in the family or even if uncle doesn't eat if they have a gathering if they have a fa- you know family affair or a <coughs> wedding 
they'll order sweets from your shop because they know that kamal owns a sweet shop for most of you because you haven't made the name list because you haven't reached out and shared because you don't even know they don't even know what you're doing they will end up signing up elsewhere i am promising you that it will happen don't wait for that shock to hit you because you could have your best friend jay has just experienced that you could have your best friend your childhood friend in somebody else's team and it will upset you every day they are in the same city okay so from today i want you to take these two lists very seriously your dream list and your name list and never stop being a networker to keep adding to this list and for adding to your dream list i've told you the prosperity game please do that seriously i promise you you'll have at least 50 more dreams and to expand your horizons to to actually know what you don't know to get into that second zone at least start finding out how do the rich and famous live what kind of homes do they have where do they travel if you have like a peru i want to travel to machu picchu in peru find out what is there to do in peru find out what is the most unique thing in maldives you will find things that you want to go to travel experience eat everything to add to your dream list okay guys so all the very best let's do these two lists very very seriously take help from upline if you have to but trust me this is your raw material from where it will all start to happen okay okay thank you so much have a beautiful sunday and happy networking